Yes? Good morning, miss. This is Inspector Brownlow. Could we see the doctor, please? Yes, will you come in? Thank you. Yes, what is it? Oh, there's two police officers to see you. What, again? They were here last week. Oh, all right, let them come in. You come in, please. Thank you. Yes, but not now. I'll tell you about that later. Right. Hmm. Looks almost too easy. Okay, go on. Go on pushing. Right, I've got it. Will you, will you pass me the pliers? They're, they're on the ground somewhere. Come on, can't you find them? They were not on the ground. Oh, it doesn't matter where they were. Let's have them. Let's have that light, will you, so I can see? No, bring it near to my head. And shine it away from my eyes. Is that better? Yeah. Oh, for the love of Pete, can't you hold that light steady? Hot here, isn't it? I don't think so. Sally, have, pass me the screwdriver, will you? How about us getting married? Are you crazy? This one? No, 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 not that one, the small one. Why am I crazy? Well, how long have we known each other? Two weeks. I fell for you in two minutes. Ouch! Oh, for Pete's sake, can't you hold that light steady? Well, I'm doing my best. It's not my fault I don't know anything about cars. Here, take this. And don't pull it tight, if you can just manage that. I don't know why I spent my afternoon off coming to see you. I try to help you and all I get is abuse. Well, I'm going for a walk by myself and you can finish the job on your own. Oh, for heaven's sake, don't pull that. You'll louse up everything. Will I? Good. Time. I said I was sorry. I heard you. One moment. Why don't you go to your room and have a little rest? I'm not tired. Sometimes one's tired without knowing it. A little sleep. This girl seems to think she can do what she likes. Perhaps you've told her so. Nothing of the kind. Margaret, do as I say. Go to your room. I'm sorry you were spoken to like that. Oh, that's all right. I'm afraid Mrs. Santa doesn't like me very much. That needn't worry you. Come with me to my study. I want to talk to you. I've decided to send Mrs. Santa away. Send her away? Yes, her behavior recently has convinced me she's in need of a long rest. I shall uh, make all the arrangements tomorrow. And I shall want you to take her place. Me? Yes. I'm sorry, Dr. Moran, but I can't. Why? Please don't ask me to explain. It's just that I don't feel that I can. But you must have some reason, or is it just that you dislike me? No, of course not. The duties are not very onerous. You have plenty of time to yourself. Yes, I know. Then why do you hesitate? Isn't it a reasonably good offer? Of course it is, but... Think it over and let me know tomorrow. Yes. Yes, I will. Dr. Moran, please don't think I'm not grateful to you for giving me a job and taking me in as you did. Santa has gone to her room. She's not very well. She doesn't want to be disturbed. Oh, very well, Doctor. I shall be working in my laboratory. Shall I pour it for you? Yes. How's Mrs. Santa this morning? Still not well. Oh, shall I take you anything? No, no, don't. She's uh, asleep. Oh. Uh, Sally. Yes? Have you thought over what I talked about yesterday? Yes, Doctor. Well? I'm sorry, Dr. Moran, but I'm afraid I can't accept your offer. Oh. So you've made up your mind, eh? Yes. I see. In that case, you can leave as soon as you wish. Sorry to inconvenience you, Doctor. No, well, that's all right. Thank you.
Is that? But there's a little matter of salary to be settled. I don't want you to go without that. Well, that, that's all right. I didn't give you proper notice after all. Oh, I insist. I have it ready for you. Come and get it. Did you really think you were going to get away as easily as that? What do you mean? Surely you can't be in such a tremendous hurry. Sit down for a minute. No. Well, one might almost think you were frightened of me. Sit down. Now, what are you rushing off for in this extraordinary fashion? Surely I'm free to go if I want... One reason is... I'm getting... If you must know, it's Jack Venn. Going to marry Jack Venn. I love you. I love you the first time I ever saw you. I know I'm much older than you, but it's happened many times before. That's why I took you in. And that's why you're not going to leave this house. You, you can't... I'm going to be acclaimed as the greatest man on earth. And you're going to share that greatness with me. Come here. Why have you locked me in here? I'm frightened. Victim's back. I learned their secret. Come with me. No. No. 